professional leagues, college scholarships, high school teams. This is the world of eSports. It has garnered a pretty high score in popularity. The gaming world has changed from the days of social gathering in an arcade surrounding that Ms. Pac-Man machine to enjoying the luxury of a high-definition system in your own living room. And with it, multiplayer gaming has taken the competition to a whole new level. My dad got Jets tickets, and instead we wanted to go see the CSGO World Championships uh, in New York City. And when we went there, we saw a little booth that said HSEL, and we started talking to them. They started talking about high school esports and how they want to start it. And on the train ride back that first day, we talked about it as a joke. And then by the third day, we had our plan set. We were ready to go. Brian Champlin is just a junior of Bayshore High School. He played sports, even dabbled in some Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But his passion and future is in esports. In fall of 2017, he founded and created the Bayshore's esports team, which competes in the high school esports league. The competition is nationwide, many from California. The Bayshore, along with St. Anthony's and Teach of North, are one of three high school teams in the HSEL. I am. Um, I cannot say how proud I am of my brother, of my father. Everyone involved has done such an amazing job of keeping this club going, and they're the people who give this club their life. Them, the faculty, the students. Everyone plays their own part, and that's what really makes this club work. This group competes in Overwatch, CSGO, Rainbow Six, winning a national championship in Call of Duty less than eight months after existence. Under the school advisement of Mike Messino, a computer science teacher, Chris Champlin, Ryan and his brother Kyle's dad, the club has developed in such a short span. Well, for us going to the Barclays and meeting the uh, the guys from the HSCL, the High School Esports League, that was big for us. We didn't know that a high school league existed. And we were the third team in New York State and the 12th team in the country to join. And not even eight months later, there's now 500 teams. So uh, it's growing big, and they'll expect over 1,000 teams next year. Uh, in addition, now there are colleges that are offering esports scholarships. A lot of that has to do with the gaming and the gaming industry in general. The recent school FIFA tournament had 47 students in their bracket. While only a handful of competitors are members of the eSports team, their goal in front of hundreds of students over a four-day span was to bring a diverse group together. Jack Buser, the inaugural champion, brought home this year's hardware with a defying 4-0 victory. He plays varsity soccer in the fall, but the soon-to-be graduating senior will attend and play for Miami University of Ohio's eSports team. My understanding of soccer, I feel like it actually improves my game of play. That's uh, obviously if you try hard enough at something, especially like FIFA, the video game, you can get the skill that you need. But I feel like my IQ that I learned from my coach, uh, Mr. Love, like helped me translate it to the FIFA field. To the average person, this is just a controller, a part of a game that keeps you isolated from society. But what many don't realize is the connections that this can bring. A potential college scholarship, yes, but also establishes a camaraderie between people all walks of life. Uh, video gamers isn't one person. We have people who play varsity sports. We have people who, this is the only club they're part of. There are, there's, any person plays video games, whether they play it super competitively or not as competitively, or they play on console or on their phone or computer. Computers, uh, video games bring people together, people of all different types, brings them together. 30 different states have universities with eSports college programs, with many others as a club. Scholarships are now on the table, and more are produced by the day. There's money to be made in the future of a sport with pro leagues gaining notoriety. But what seems to be the most remarkable situation in Bayshore High School is the daily values that have been instilled from a group of teens joining one another playing video games. I started to understand that it's, you know, it's a lot more than a hobby. It's something that you can put a lot of work to and get rewarded at the end of it. And Compared to recent years, even at Bayshore, esports weren't, you know, that's not, people looked at video games as something that you played on your off time. Now this is starting to become like a profession. Reporting from Bayshore High School, Produce 12 Varsity, I'm Dan Sabarino.